In this video, I am going to discuss about pointers in C language. What is a pointer? A pointer is a variable whose value is the address of another variable. That is, a pointer can be used to store the memory address of other variables, functions, or even other pointers. A pointer is defined as a derived data type that can store the address of other C variables or a memory location. We can access and manipulate the data stored in that memory location using pointers. Then how to declare a pointer? The syntax of pointers is similar to the variable declaration in C, but we use a star operator in pointer declaration. So here we can see uh, we have to specify the data type and this variable pointer variable name. Then we are using a star operator in the declaration of pointer. The next one is type of pointers. Pointers can be classified into many different types um, based on the parameter on which we are defining their types. There are five types of pointers, integer pointers, array pointers, structure pointers, function pointer, and a null pointer. The first one is integer pointer. These are the pointers that point to the uh, integer values. So integer pointers are used to point to the integer values. Here we can see the uh, syntax, uh, the data type is int and the variable uh, pointer variable. The next one is array pointer. Pointers and array are closely related to each other. Even the array name is the pointer to its first element. Uh, they are also known as pointer to arrays. We can create a pointer to an array using given syntax. So here we can see the syntax data type is char and pointer variable equal to ampersand array. So we know that every variable in a memory location and every memory location has its address defined, which can be accessed using the ampersand operator. So uh, that's why here we are giving an ampersand then array. The next pointer is structure pointer. The pointer pointed to the structure type is called a structure pointer or a pointer to the structure. So it can be declared in the same way we declare the other primitive data type. So here we can see the syntax. We are using a struct keyword for uh, structure pointer declaration and the structure name, uh, the variable name start. ETR, pointer variable. So in C, structure pointers are used in data structures such as linked list, trees, etc. The next pointer is function pointer. Function pointers point to the function. They are different from uh, the rest of other pointers in the sense that, uh, in, that instead of pointing to the data, they point to the code. Let's consider the function prototype that is int function uh, inside the bracket in comma cat. So here we can see the syntax int star ptr in comma cat. This is the uh, syntax of declaring function pointer. The next one is null pointer. Last one is null pointer. The null pointer are those pointers that do not point to any memory location. They can be created by assigning a null value to the pointer. A pointer of any type uh, type can be assigned the null value. So here we can see the syntax, uh, the data type and the pointer name equal to null. Or we can also declare the point, null pointer like this, pointer name equal to null. So this is the five type of pointers. Then here we have the example program. Here we have the program. In this program, an integer variable var is declared and initialized to 20. A pointer variable ip is declared, which will store the address of the var variable. The address of the var variable is assigned to the ip pointer using ampersand operator. The program then prints the address of var variable using ampersand operator. It also prints the address stored in, uh, in the IP pointer. Finally, uh, the value of the IP variable, which is the value stored at the memory address, 
സ്റ്റോക്ക് പോയിന്റഡ് ബൈ ദി ഐ പി പോയിന്റ് പ്രിന്റഡ് here we have the program in this program an integer variable var is declared and initialized to 20 a point variable ip is declared which will store the address of the var variable the address of the var variable is assigned to the ip pointer using ampersand operator the program then prints the address of var variable using the ampersand operator it also prints the address stored in ip pointer finally it Uh, it prints the value of ip star ip variable which is the uh, value stored at the memory address pointed by the ip board so i'm going to run this program we can observe that the address of var variable and the address stored in the ip pointer are same indicating that the pointer variable is correctly stored in the address of var variable Additionally, by refer, uh, deep referencing the IP pointer using the star operator, we can access the value stored in the var variable. Okay, I hope you understand the concept of pointers. Thank you.